Welcome to Backyard Journeys. Today we're in New Harmony, Indiana on the banks of the Wabash River. The story of New Harmony, Indiana actually has their start back in Germany with leader Johann Rapp. He and his group of religious separatists known as Rappites and also as Harmonists, they wanted to live in harmony and live separate lives from the world. We're just going to walk through the labyrinth as I tell you the story. In every one of the Raphites' communities, they built a labyrinth. And it was built to just walk through and contemplate because their religion, their beliefs was it was a difficult path. But you should have a place to walk through and contemplate. So they always built these wonderful labyrinths. Isn't it beautiful? The story of the Rappites actually began in Germany in 1804. They decided to leave Germany and they first moved to Pennsylvania where they founded a community. And this group believed that they need to live separate lives from everyone else. And if they did so, they would bring the second coming of Christ. And this was um, Mr. Rapp's vision that he had had um, from what he thought was a vision from God. If he would found this community and live, if everyone in this community would live a sin-free life, an industrious life, that they would bring back the second coming of Christ. Well, starting first, in 1804 in Pennsylvania, they built a community, seven or 800 people on 3,500 acres. But they always had trouble with their neighbors, were always pigeonholed as something's wrong with them and they didn't want them there. Were very industrious. And they had distilleries, they had wool carting companies, they had stores. They were very industrious and they were very prosperous. And even though they led separate lives from the community, they were always interested in the latest technologies and, and they wanted to have, you know, have all the information of today's world. Now, in the separatist movement, they didn't have, they didn't like to have contact with other people in the world because they were trying to live this sin-free, perfectionist life that would bring on the second coming of Christ. But later on, Mr. Rapp decided that they needed to leave that area. He bought land here in Indiana and in what is now the town of New Harmon. They sent farmers and workers here to build this town. This was a swamp area when it first started and they drained the swamp and built this little town. No individual owned anything. It was all held by the community and the leader, Mr. Rapp. They all came to live here. There was, at, at the height of the Rappites, there was about 800 people that lived here in New Harmony, Indiana. Just, you know, they shipped out everything. They were very industrious, successful. They had all the skills necessary to become successful. <laughs> 1824, Mr. Rapp had another vision that he needed to go back to Pennsylvania. And in 1827, they sold the town, lock, stock, and barrel, to a Mr. Owens. They were from England, and they were going through the Industrial Revolution. And if you think of Charles Dickens, that's what was going on in England at the time. You know, it was the rich get richer, and the poor gets poor, and they, they just didn't want to live that way. So they wanted to have a community where everything was equitable and people were taken care of. So they decided to buy this community out from the Rappites and they bought the entire town and they were moving here from England. They were able to get a lot of scientists and teachers. They didn't think about they needed people that had trades. The community didn't last long. It only lasted for about three years and it was dissolved, but no one to grow the, the food. Said Mr. Owen, 
he, they stayed here in Indiana. One of the sons became a politician and he was, he always was looking for ways to make everything equitable. He, he was a champion for education for everyone. He fought for women's rights and the abolition of slavery. And later on in life, he became a U.S. representative from Indiana, and he proposed the bill to make the Smithsonian Institution. And his one of his other son was a geologist, and he was the one that found the, the red limestone to build the building, which you can still visit in Washington, D.C. now. His, his daughter built a school for girls, and one of the descendants married a woman from Houston, Texas, and her name is Jane Owens, and she is responsible for the way the town looks today. She was a great art patron and philanthropist, and she used her wealth to preserve this town. And she brought in great artists, and she built beautiful buildings here and she preserved all the old buildings from the past. She used her wealth for that and she set up a foundation and you'll see later the the art gallery or the art museum that she had built here and the open air cathedral. Not only was she interested in the arts and and historic preservation, she was a spiritualist and she thought it was wonderful to remember that there's something bigger than just ourselves. And she had the great architect Philip Johnson to design the open air cathedral. Welcome everyone to Jane Blaffer Owens Magnificent Open Air Cathedral designed by the magnificent American architect Philip Johnson in the 1960s. I, I'm going to pan out so you can see the outside structure. Jane built this wonderful edifice. She was a spiritualist, like the first town founders. She thought contemplation was important. And I'm bringing you in so you can see the structure on the inside. It's an open air and open walled edifice for contemplation. Absolutely beautiful. Y'all should come and visit. Just take a while to sit and to think. Now we're going to go into other magnificent places here in New Harmony, Indiana. Modern to the original buildings that were built by the Raphites, the original town founders. Here's some and beautiful. Here are some of the cabins that were built. Just going to New Harmony. Here's some of the original. This is like a kitchen garden, y'all, that's here in the town. And y'all, here's the art museum that was built here. Isn't it gorgeous? It was also designed by Philip Johnson, a great American architect. There are two labyrinths in town and the one down here is a smaller one than but isn't that art museum just beautiful i'm gonna walk in here this is the labyrinth that was built limestone and you just think and pray and the original labyrinth was built by the Raphites in the early 1800s and they built it so you could just walk and think because their idea of religion was a little different than everybody else's they were separatist. They believed the only way you could get to the second coming of Jesus was to live a life 
of, uh, if a community lived a life of perfection, no sin, that that would bring the second coming of Christ. Well, but it's a beautiful idea. It just did not take place like Father Rapp thought it should be. It's but just a beautiful town, and y'all should come and visit. You can look it up on Google, New Harmony, Indiana, and read the whole story of it. Thank y'all for joining me today. And I hope you'll go down the highways and byways in your area to find the historically important places and people that's changed the world. And I hope you'll join me next week on Backyard Journeys.